friends, it's Peggy Noe from prettypapercards.com. How are you today? I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie, and we are wishing you a happy Friday. Oh, Fridays are great, aren't they? No more work for the weekend, mostly. And we get to relax, and everybody loves Friday. So I hope you're having a great Friday and that you're looking forward to your weekend, whatever it's like in your area. I'm just going to pop on here and see if I can um, make sure that we're live on, on our um, Pretty Paper Cards page. Let me just confirm. There we go. Okay, and let me just make this big so I can see your comments and everything. So good to see you. Are you getting ready for St. Patrick's Day next Wednesday? The big day where you wear green and um, people make corned beef and hash, I think it is, and uh, little leprechauns are popping around. We're going we're gonna to be having a live on St. Patrick's Day next Wednesday. So I want to make sure you pop back on for that. We're going to be making a green card, of course. Of course we have to make a green card. Hey, Allison. Long time no see. Allison was over this morning helping me to make um, the cards for my class to go for March. This super cute little lamb card um, with his little feet and his little tail in the back. Um, she helped me to put some of this together because each person who um, pre-ordered the class is going to make a flock of lambs, four lambs. So if you missed it, um, be sure to sign up for my card class um, my, next month. I do usually one per month, so I, I want to make sure you can see that next time. Hey, Diane, good to see you. Hey, Linda, good to see you. Are you guys ready for... St. Patrick's Day next week. Any special plans, special menu? Um, and be sure to wear your green. Ellie and I are going to be wearing green. I have a special little surprise that I just got in the mail today. So um, be sure to come back on Wednesday. Okay, well, we have a very fun, gilded, awesome card to make today. And I want to make sure we have enough time for it. So Ellie's about ready for her nap. Are you ready for your nap? Yeah, that means yes, she's looking toward her bed. Okay, there she goes. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is what's new. The new, the things that are going on with Stampin' Up! Let me just adjust this a tiny bit. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to flip the camera here so that you can see what I want to show you. What's new? You all know about the butterflies. You've heard about the butterflies. I'm going to scoot up a little closer here. And I, I remind you every time about this beautiful butterfly paper, and we're going to use some of it today for our project. But it is so, so pretty. And I'll turn it over so that you can see. That's the um, backing, and you can see the other side. The butterflies are just amazing. And then I have it this way because I want to just reiterate to you how the Brilliant Wings dies work on this one sheet of paper. Let me see. Turn it over. And there you go. You can cut out all six butterflies with one swoop because this die cuts six, one, two, three, four, five, six butterflies. And it's beautiful. Now, there are more dies that cut individual butterflies that are beautiful all the same sizes, but all the wings are um, very intricate and so forth, and I've shown you those before. And then I also want to show you, I was talking about buying two stamp sets, and I did, and I want to show you why. So let me look at this one first. This is the one that I just got. So this is the way the stamp set comes with and it's all attached. The whole thing is attached like that because that way you can stamp and then you die cut. Well, of course, it would be this way. You die cut all of those at the same time. But I also wanted to stamp individual 
um, butterflies, so I cut my set up. So I bought two sets, one to use all together and one to use separately. It's only $17, and that's what I'm going to do. So you can um, do it any way you like, but that's what I recommend. Hey, Pam, good to see you today. Hey, Karen, thank you for sharing. Sally, good to see you. I'm seeing the whole gang, aren't I? Okay, now the next thing I want to talk to you about is retirement. Not mine. I'm already retired, and I hope maybe some of you are retired too. But if you're not, I did this when I was working, and you can do it too. It's a good, nice break to come home and make cards after a long day of working. But I wanted to emphasize the colors that are retiring. We don't know what all is retiring from our annual catalog. And this is the annual catalog right here. We don't know what all is retiring, but we know for sure these in colors are retiring. They're already on low inventory. All these five in colors from 2019 to 2021, all the inks, all the ink refills, and so get them now. Don't wait for the 24th because that's when everything is gonna be announced what's retiring. But we already know these are retiring. So get these now because they could likely be gone by the 24th. If you want, if you need an ink refill or something, I don't want you to miss out. And then I wanted to talk to you also about um, the items that are gonna be retiring. And one of the items is what we're gonna use for our card, to, card today. Does anybody already have this stamp set? If you have it, what's your, whose birthday is it on the 24th? Linda, happy birthday early. Happy birthday on the 24th. We'll be doing a live on that day. And you remind me um, when it's on that day, Linda, because I might forget. So this is a stamp set I just got, ridiculously awesome. And it um, was designed by a million dollar um, achiever for Stampin' Up! Rhonda Wade. Some of you may know her if you watch her stuff. And I just... I got excited and I thought, I want to get this. I don't know if it's going to retire or not. It's from the annual catalog and I wanted to get it. And so, of course, I had to break it out and we're going to start using it today. And here's the card we're going to make. I showed it on my, on my Facebook page last night. And it's using the ridiculously awesome sentiment and Just Jade. I love Just Jade, this color, and it is not retiring. We have another year with the beautiful Just Jade. And then on the inside, I put some of these fun hearts that are also part of the stamp set. But today we are going to, um, we're going to distress. We're gonna learn a couple techniques. We're gonna do some distressing. We're gonna do some gold gilding. And I'm gonna try it this time without the bow. This is the beautiful Just Jade Gingham Ribbon. But just some people don't like ribbon or don't like to tie the bow. So I think we'll make it without the ribbon today. And then I wanted to show you another sample from this stamp set, the, a card that I made, Let Your Faith Be Bigger Than Your Fear. And this is an e a much easier card, and this is the same paper from the Butterf Butterfly Bijou paper. And then this sentiment with a punch and a doily and some other things. But the re I really wanted to emphasize, if you want this paper, it is not continuing. This butterf beautiful Butterfly Bijou paper um, is while supplies last, but will the last day to order is going to be May 3rd. So if you want this paper, order it now. I've already ordered a second pack. So this is our card for today. And this is our stamp set. And we're going to use a die from Hippo and Friends. And this is the die set. And this is another thing in the annual catalog. And none of us have any idea what's retiring um, until the 24th, except for the in colors. And the one thing I love about this Hippo set is all of the beautiful label dies that come with it. And today we're going to use this particular label die because it fits the sentiment just perfectly. So that's another thing to have on your... Um, your list, if you don't have these two items from the annual catalog, you will want to get them. And let me very quickly give you the page numbers because I know you like to look them up. So the stamp set is on page 90 of the annual catalog. 
and the die set, let me check, I have it here somewhere, page 176. In the back where all the dies are, there we go, page 176, there's our die set, Hippo and Friends. So if you wanna get those, make sure that you grab them while they're, while they're available. And we will have the retiring list on the 24th and I'll be publishing it for you. So let's get started with our pretty card. So we're gonna start with a Just Jade card base, cut at eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And we're going to burnish that with our bone folder. And then on that, I'm gonna show you what, what pieces we're going to put. We're going to put another piece of Just Jade, which is four inches by five and a quarter, and then our piece of the Butterfly Bijou paper. And this is three and three quarters by five. And you've seen me do this before, but we're gonna do it today. We're gonna to do some distressing. And we're gonna use our paper snips. And really, it's so easy. You have to be really careful not to totally tear the paper. I like to have it a little bit torn. I really love distressed cards, distressed paper. But you have to, whoops, see, you have to be really careful not to actually tear it fully through, but yet to get that distressed look on it. And I do kind of like some tears, I really do. We're just going to distress just about everything on today's card because that's one, it's just something I really like. I can do the clean and simple, but I like distressed cards. So we're just gonna distress this piece. And you know, another thing you can do for distressing that we're gonna do a little bit is you can kind of do a bit of crinkling. Have you ever thought of that? It's kind of hard when the papers are so beautiful. But also in the corners, you can kind of work the corners a little bit. And one reason I wanna do that is because we wanna leave room for our pretty uh, gilded leafing, it's called. I tend to call it gold gilding, but it's actually gilded leafing. So let's go ahead and distress our other piece of Just Jade. And it's a little firmer, right? Because this is the cardstock. The designer series paper that we were just playing with um, is, is much lighter weight. Don't ask me the weight because I, I don't know those numbers, but I just know this is, this is a heavier weight, the cardstock. And we're just gonna do this. You know, I've been really looking for another opportunity to use the gold gilding. So I thought I would do that today. So what we're gonna do is this, we're gonna do a little distressing here as far as the folding and I've got it, this is our, our base. So I'm gonna actually set that to the side and then we're gonna bring in our designer series paper. And for this, I actually am going to do some t paper tearing. That is, that is what I might call extreme. Extreme distressing is paper tearing, actual paper tearing. And the reason I wanna do it is because I wanna do some of the gold leafing up there. And I'm gonna just um, squinch this a little bit more. So let's start with our gold leafing. And what we're gonna do for this today is we're gonna get out our um, silicone craft sheet and we're gonna put a little bit of glue on our craft sheet because we're going to use that to adhere our uh, gilded leafing. So let's see, now I held this up like this and I think this is the corner right here where I wanna do the gilding, right there. So what I'm gonna do is just smear, turn it upside down and smear it a little bit in the gold. I mean, excuse me, in the glue, like that. Okay, nothing neat about it, you just smear it. And then I wanted to show you a little bit about the gilded leafing. So it comes in this kind of a container, right? And it's all squished inside of there, tight, tight. And when you get it, you should open it up and I put it inside this square Tupperware. At first I had it in a shoe box, but that was too big. And when it pops open and it, it, it you know, gets loosened, 
it's it has all these it's like this quite large pieces that that are so gentle they're they're like feathers you can't even feel them so it's actually easier to work with than you might think so i'm just going to tear off a piece of this le gilded leafing whoops i've got several pieces here and i'm going to lay it right down on top of the place that i added the glue now there are other ways that we can do this they have heat and stick powder but i'm just i'm just a multi-purpose glue girl anyway you know i use it for almost anything and everything and so it just it just is almost a natural to use it and it works really well and then when you're done you just come back in and I have just a paintbrush that I had around the house no big deal and you just start brushing it off like that and if it if it brushes off a glued area you just press that back on and I think what we'll do is we might just leave it for a minute I know it's not super neat if you're a neat person it's probably I'm a neat person and I've gotten used to it. Okay, so we're gonna leave that to the side and we're gonna do a little bit of gilding over here on our piece of designer series paper. And we're gonna gild um, this corner over here. I think I'm gonna tear it a little bit more. And we're going to go back to our glue that's on our silicone craft sheet and just dip the edge in like that. Just kind of barely dip the edge in, maybe a little bit more. Okay, and then we're gonna grab our gilding again, these leaves, and just lay it right down there on the, on the glue. And you can just play with these leaves, they're so light. Now afterward, I'm gonna use a wet one, a wipe, to wipe it all off my hands because your hands do get somewhat sticky. But we're just gonna put it on there like that. And it'll stick and we'll go back after it dries and we'll brush it off. And then I wanna put a little bit down, um, let's see where else, maybe I'll just put a little bit in here. I'm just gonna grab it back with the glue, put a little glue, just a tiny bit, and lay another sheet over there. That's a pretty big sheet, isn't it? A very big sheet. Just lay it over that. We'll pull it off a little bit, and we'll then we'll uh, work with that in a bit. Now we're going to stop for a short time and do a little stamping while that dries. So I've got that all off my fingers, kind of messy. Hey, Megan, how are you today? And I'm going to get out one of my wipes that I keep handy. I get these from Amazon, and I just keep a pack right in my desk so that I can wipe my fingers off or whatever I want to or need to wipe off because we want to get our fingers a little cleaner I probably should have stamped first but we're gonna work we're gonna work with it and this takes most of the gilding off and it washes off easily too with soap and water okay so now let's do a little stamping so we have our ridiculously awesome sentiment and our just jade ink and because the reason I'm doing this now is I want to distress this piece also and add a little gilding to that. So let me check my stamp that it's right side up. Karen, hey! Try it. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's not nearly as messy as I thought. It's, it's more self-contained than I imagined. And I love the result. Okay, whoops, that didn't get so clear down there. So let me turn it over and we'll do it again. You all know, just turn your page over and try it again. I didn't press hard enough, I think. I'm excited about the gilding. I do get excited about beautiful bling. There we go, that came out great. Okay, and now while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and do, this is our inside piece, inside of our card, and I'm gonna use this adorable modern heart. And I'm gonna put a little heart on each side of our inside piece, and then we'll have all the stamping done. Uh-oh, okay, that gets turned over too. I got a little 
smudge there. I just want to get past the stamping to the gilding. Okay, let's try it again. I have to slow down and be patient. There we go. Okay, now we've got that stamping done and let's grab our envelope and stamp the outside of our envelope while we're at it. Yes, gilding. You know, I, let me check my thing. It's, um, G-I-L-D-E-D, -E -D. gilded is the way it's spelled, Karen. I, it took me a minute to figure that out too. So for my envelope, I'm, I'm just stamping three hearts right up the side there. Okay, great, so now we've got our stamping done. And what we're gonna do is pull in our little, um, what do we call this guy now, our buddy? Our little bitty buddy or something, I can't remember. And we're going to cut this sentiment with the die from the Hippo Happiness, Hippo Dies, just like this. And I do kind of have leafing all over, I have to say. But it's fun, it's kind of fun, it really is. And let's get this, um, correctly placed on our little guy. Does that look about right? Okay. And we'll run him through. Just press that right down. Run that right through our machine. Yes, the heart, Sally. I like the heart very much. I do too, totally love it. And here's our sentiment. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little distressing of our sentiment and we're also gonna put some, um, we're going to put some gilding on it. And the nice thing about these sentiments in this stamp set called Ridiculously Awesome, here we're gonna do just a little bit of distressing. The nice thing about the sentiments are they take up like the whole page. So you don't have to ponder if the sentiment is small and you think, okay, what am I going to put in this corner or the next corner? It, it's just a natural because it's such a big sentiment. It takes the whole thing up and it makes making a card really quick and easy. And they're beautiful sentiments. I, I really like it. And again, we're gonna watch to see if it's gonna retire. I, I hope not because I really love this stamp set. Okay, we've got our distressing done and now we're gonna do a bit more gilding. So I'm gonna pull back in my silicone craft sheet and I'm going to, I wanna do some, a little bit on a corner and a little bit down here. I'm gonna add a bit more glue to the silicone. It might be called a craft mat. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. And so I'm gonna put a little gilding on this corner right here. So I'm just gonna smooth that into the glue and get it kind of on there. And then I wanna do a little bit down here. I'm just gonna run that through there kind of like that. Okay, and we've got that done. And now we're gonna bring our gilded leafing back in. And again, remember I showed you, it's just in these sheets. And so you just press a sheet right on there, a very thin, thin sheet. And let's, let's press another one, fine. Well, I can just use what's hanging off here. Look at all that that's hanging off. It's, it's cool, it really is. It's called gilded leafing. But, so we'll just tear that, pull that off. And we're gonna let that sit for just a minute before we brush it with the um, paintbrush because we want that to glue down. Get it off our fingers, try. And be careful, even a breath or a wind or the door opening can cause all that to really go crazy. So we're gonna go back to our des designer series paper sheet that we gilded in the corner. And we're just gonna brush that off with my paintbrush I had around the house and so it just leaves just a little bit 
just a touch, just enough to look pretty. And the same down here, just brush that off, just like that. And so we have a little gilding there. I wanna see if you can see it more closely. And then we, we did some gilding, remember, on our, um, I'm gonna use my wet one here and clean my brush a little bit. We did some gilding here on the, on the corner. I'm gonna brush on that. You have to be okay with it being kind of just whatever it is. It, it, at least I do. I don't know, you know, maybe someone can get it a little more specific than I do, but now we're gonna go, go over to this sentiment piece and just brush off like that. And we'll use our fingers. And see, we've just got a little, it's not much. It's not much, it's just a little bit of, a little bit of bling, a little bit of fun. And I'm gonna just use my wet one to wipe my surface here. I'll go back later and wipe it better. But then we can put our whole card together. And we've got it all kinds of fun places. Okay, so now we, we're gonna put the card together. Here's our card base. And here's our first piece. And here's our second piece that we tore so that this gold leafing would show. And we're just going to adhere it, all of these things, again, with our multi-purpose glue. I think it's very fun to play with. I mean, I wouldn't make every card out of this, but I, I really do think it's very fun. Tell me if you've used it and what you think. I know a couple of you haven't, and people, there are some people that are kind of afraid of it. But I, I'd like to know if any of you have used it successfully and what you think of it. So we're gonna put on our second piece here. And this is, remember, a little smaller on all sides. And we talked about how we're, we're kind of curling up the, um, the ends, the edges, the corners. Get some of that gold leafing off myself. And then here comes our sentiment. Now, the one thing I did before putting the sentiment on is I'm also going to uh, put a couple of strips of paper on underneath the sentiment to give even more, um, just a little more activity. So this one is mint macaron. It's cut to a half an inch by, I think, four, three and three quarters. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the long side, so that would be five. And this one, I'm gonna have be a little bit longer and go kind of like that. And then I'm gonna distress each one of these. I wanted this a little shorter. It's very, really arbitrary. You can have, you can just have lots of fun with it and just distress both of them just a little bit because if you don't, they'll look a little odd in that they're so nice and neat on this distressed card. So you kind of have to do that, kind of just distress the edges and the sides real quick. And I'm gonna put the, the Just Jade piece right down underneath this mint macaron. Aren't these greens beautiful? This paper is so pretty. And again, it's one from the Butterfly uh, Bijou paper. So we're going to just, you know, curl up the edges a little bit. And then this is our long one. This is the Just Jade. I'm so glad this is continuing. And these paper snips, they do a very quick job of it. And we can wrinkle it because it's a distressed card. Next time I'll do a real neat card for you, okay? Next week for St. Patty's Day, we'll do another green card, but we'll, we'll make it nice and neat. Oops. For the distressed things, you can just be messy, messy. Okay, so now I'll blow it, and we're just ready to put this down. Let's put our glue. The only thing we're gonna use dimensionals on today is the sentiment. So we're gonna put uh, this piece down along this edge. This, 
from side to side, I think it looks kind of good that way. And then for this piece, we're really gonna curl up those corners. And we're gonna add our glue and just glue that down the center. Maybe I'll put it a little up. Okay, and hold it just a minute until the glue affixes. And then we're gonna put on our sentiment. And we're gonna use dimensionals for that. Hold, okay. And then we'll put on some dimensionals. I'm kind of looking at the clock and seeing that we've gone about a half an hour. So that's about as long as I like to go. We'll just put that on there. Look how cute that is. And it really wasn't complicated. And to finish off, we're gonna use some gold glitter enamel dots. And let me remind you that most of the ribbons, usually every ribbon and every, every um, embellishment usually retires. You never know for sure which ones, but most, that happens with most of them. So if you particularly like any of these, you'll want to get them while you can. Okay, now I'm going to put some glue on the back of the inner piece. And remember, I had to turn it over because I got a little smear on my heart, one of my hearts. And we're just gonna pop that in like that. We'll just let that dry. I really like this card, I really do. And it, it can be a St. Patty's Day card, definitely. Can't it? Isn't that just cute and pretty and unexpected because of the gilding? And really, I turned out with not too much on my hands. If you're a neat person, that doesn't upset you too much. So thank you so much for stopping by today. I wanna thank you for coming and um, thank those of you who shared and encourage you to come back next Wednesday when we're gonna do some special things for St. Patrick's Day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Let me just um, pop back on. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy yourself, relax, and make a card. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.